Hey what's up everyone this is Phantom Phoenix from Dark Sparks Gaming welcome to today's video and we're going to be discussing how to beat Joker so without further ado let's get started. Okay, really quick, before I get started with today's video, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, everyone. I have a lot of people who are subscribed to the channel, but do not follow me on Twitter. There is large benefits to following me on Twitter. As you'll see some highlights, you'll get some updates on the channel, or if anything major happens on the channel, following me on Twitter will give you a lot of perks as you'll be able to see some updates on future videos that are gonna be coming out for that following week. And you can also tell your friends if they'll be interested in the topic that's gonna be discussed in that future video and all sorts of other cool stuff for all my followers on Twitter. So please please follow me on Twitter. It's at DSG smash. So if you want to check me out on Twitter, a link to that will be in the description. All right, let's get started with the video. Okay, so just like in my last video, if you all want to see the guide on how to beat Joker as King K. Wool, a timestamp to that will be in the description because there is a specific part in this video that is centered around how to beat Joker as King K. Wool. With all that being said, let's start off with our mindset and how we want to approach the Joker matchup. Okay, so the first thing that we want to understand when playing against Joker is that Joker is a rushdown character first and foremost. This character has so many tools to approach you, it is utterly insane. He has down tilt, he has short hop forward air, he has short hop back air, he has short hop neutral air, he can even use his gun to approach you. He has many different ways of approaching you, in which I'll show some of these options on screen, but all these options become even more powerful when our set activates. So we have to figure out how are we going to counter these approaches. Well, there's different play styles that we can use to play against Joker. We also have to remember that Joker has some range utility to him, with his side B, Aha, and his neutral B, his gun. His gun doesn't deal that much damage from afar. If you play characters with really good spacing moves or you just have really good spacing principles and techniques, then playing against Joker can be a lot easier because if you space him out, there's not really many options options he has besides shooting his gun from afar or using side B in which he has to get into a specific range for side B to even land and most Joker players will approach you get their damage in run away and then side B and if he doesn't have that same format then approaching is a lot harder than it seems and he kind of has to play the camp game and try to build up our send so that way he can have a longer side B and be able to deal more damage. For example, if Joker ever gets in a situation where he's in neutral and you're playing a character like for instance Wolf, Wolf has this blaster which is extremely oppressive in neutral. Because of the speed, raw damage, and just so many applications that Wolf's laser has, it's really hard for Joker to get around Wolf's laser. He only has a couple of options really. He either has to shield the laser, he has to down tilt underneath the laser which will then allow him to free up some opportunities for like side tilt, jab, or any other approach options that Joker has, or he has to use his down B Rebel's Guard against the lasers. Now if he has Arsene, he can use Makarakon to deflect the lasers. Now this is when things get tricky. So if you know the Cloud matchup, you know that Cloud can gain the limit from taking damage just like Joker can gain more percentage I guess or more charge on his meter uh, when he takes damage it's kind of the same thing so just as you were to play against cloud and realize okay he's close to getting limit maybe I should back off of him or he's close to getting limit maybe I should get him to waste his limit same thing against Arsene it's just Arsene can run out and so can limit but the difference between Arsene is that Arsene lasts a lot longer so when you're playing against Joker, realize that Arsene is usually his win condition. It's usually his kill condition. If he has Arsene, he can kill you extremely early in a lot of situations that you think you wouldn't die in. So you have to be very careful of that. What I usually do in the Joker matchup when Joker has Arsene, I usually wait it out. Um, similar to that of how I play against Cloud, I will camp Joker, I will sit at the ledge, and I will literally just say, come hit me, you know? because he has a certain amount of time that Arsene will last. So that certain amount of time, Joker has to be able to deal that damage, get the damage in and possibly kill you. Because without Arsene, he can still kill. All right? But it's nowhere near as good as if you were to have Arsene. With Arsene, Joker is a middleweight character with heavyweight kill, kill power and damage. It's just insane. Okay, so now we're going to talk about how to play against Joker with Arsene. 
So Joker with Arsene can be a scary monster. It's almost as bad as playing against Cloud with Limit. Actually, I think it's probably worse than playing against Cloud with Limit. Cloud with Limit is not as good as it used to be in Smash 4, but Joker with Arsene, oh my goodness. He has some crazy damage and he even has some more combos that he can execute with Arsene. In some instances, Arsene will take away some of his combo potential. But I want to share my quick exploit on how I usually beat the Joker matchup, especially when he has Arsene. Okay, so what I want all of you to do right now is to pay close attention to Joker's persona meter. I don't know if any of you have picked up on this, but Joker's persona meter, when you throw Joker, his persona meter just drastically drops. This is probably one of the best exploits that I use against Joker because against Joker, if you can just burn out his persona meter, then he loses probably one of his best ways to kill you because without persona, it makes everything a lot harder to kill. So if you're able to drain out his persona meter by grabbing him, then he doesn't have as much time to have Arsene out there to kill you. So you can even mix in a couple of pummels, try to grab Joker as long as you can, and then use your most damaging throw. From my observations, it seems as though when you throw Joker with a high damaging throw, the persona meter depletes even more. So this is probably a good thing to know when playing against Joker, especially with Arsene, because if you're able to mitigate the amount of time that he has Arsene out there, that leaves a lot more time for you to stay alive and for him to be dealing less damage. Depending upon what kind of opponent you have, some Joker players have weird options when playing with Arsene. Some people are extremely aggressive with Arsene, and some people actually play a little bit laid back and they try to use moves like Aegon, which is his side B when he has Arsene, or they'll try to outsmart you. So what I usually do against Arsene, especially a very aggressive Joker when they have Arsene, um, if they're extremely aggressive and they're pressuring me a lot, I usually sit in shield even though he's going to be dealing a little bit more damage to me. I usually sit in shield and I use moves that have disjoints to keep him away. And also, some Joker players will use Arsene's extensions to their advantage. Um, believe it or not, Arsene extends Joker's hitbox slightly, not by much, and it's not really even noticeable in some situations, but when it comes to offstage shenanigans, getting those weird pokes or two frames or things like that. Also remember all the changes that Joker has to his moveset when Arsene is out. Um, Arsene also in a way reminds me of when you're playing against Lucario, and that's one of the notes I had for this video when making the script, was that Arsene is kind of like Lucario if you really think about it, how Lucario kind of has a built-in comeback mechanic with his aura, and how the more damage he has, the more damage he's dealing to you. Kind of similar to that of Arsene and how when you're dealing a lot of damage to Joker, he can get Arsene faster or if he's just getting a lot of damage off Rebel's Guard. So when it comes to beating Joker with Arsene, just remember that you want to make sure you are able to minimize the amount of time that Joker has Arsene out. Use the exploit that I mentioned earlier. Try to grab and pummel Joker as long as you can and then throw Joker because that just completely depletes Arsene on his persona meter. Um, also, please force Joker off stage. Whenever you see Joker's in disadvantage and he's near the ledge, force him off stage because his recovery only has set angles to it. It's not like Fox where he has multiple different angles with his uppie. He only has really three to four set angles that he can use with his up B. So memorize those set angles, edge guard him when he goes for those set angles, then Joker is not as hard to beat when he has Arsene. Also remember that he has some invincibility when he's using his up B. I believe it's invincibility at the beginning and towards the end of when he's landing too. So you want to be able to catch him in between those invincibility frames. Okay, welcome Thick Boy Nation, because now we're going to be talking about how to beat Joker as King K. Rool. Joker has a lot of options, man. He has those guns, he has up air loops, he has disjoints, he has Arsene. Sometimes it seems almost impossible to beat Joker as King K. Rool. But the one thing that I have found effective against Joker is actually just rushing him down. Counter his own rush down. Uh, just being in Joker's face is probably one of the best options you have with King K. Roll. Reason why? Because you have your ranged projectiles, like you have your cannonball, you have your crown, but 
Joker, especially a good Joker player, will just Rebels guard it. I mean, literally, he's just going to use that to feed his Persona meter, get Arsene, and then when he has Arsene, if you use your Cannonball and Crown, he's just going to reflect it, and then he'll use your own Crown against you, and then bad stuff happens. So that's why I usually don't go for my range projectiles against Joker. I just don't. I just pressure him with dash attack at the beginning of the game. That's why I usually choose a small stage. I'll dash attack him. And then I'll use moves like forward air, I'll use nair, and I'll try to edge guard him. I'll say, okay, I'm going to get in your face, and that way you don't have the space, that little bit of space that Joker players use to rush down with down tilt, short hop, forward air, and back air. If you end up in a scenario where you're getting put in rush down situations, like Joker's just rushing you down every single time. He's just going to back up, use his side B, and then engage. Back up, side B, engage. Or back up and use a mix of like with his gun or something something and then engage and you want to figure out how do I stop him from pressuring me use moves like side tilt to keep him away you can also use up tilt because a lot of jokers will jump above you and then they'll go for a cross up like back air or neutral air so you can use up tilt to counter that um also don't forget about gut check gut check here's the thing about gut check gut check in this matchup is it's really neat because you can use it to not only be able to defend against moves like Nair, you can also use this to exploit Arsene. The way you can exploit Arsene is use Gut Check on moves that have a little bit more reach with Joker. And these moves are usually involving Joker's dagger, like his back air and his up smash. If you use Gut Check, on those moves because most joker players won't realize how much reach that move has you can gut check it and it may throw in a, as an interesting mix up in that late scenario late game scenario where you desperately need a mix up kill i also advise in this joker matchup that you play your shield a lot and you play your shield enough so that way you can avoid moves like down tilt and forward air but i also want you to be cognizant of the fact that joker has a pretty good grab game with up throw and down throw he can nail some nasty combos with our sent out he can just do down throw forward air and it will almost automatically force you into disadvantage state or you're gonna get edge guarded by joker and you're just gonna find yourself off stage and you're gonna be like wait what happened and how did i get here also, the last tip that I have for playing King K. Rool against Joker is to actually abuse your gut armor, except for when Joker has Arsene out. Because with Arsene, he's dealing more damage, more knockback. Obviously, he's going to be able to break gut armor easier when he has Arsene out. But in all seriousness, just use moves like Nair, especially Nair when you just short hop it. You can just gut armor through a lot of Joker's moves like dash attack and stuff like that. Use moves like dash attack with yourself like if you just dash attack joker especially when he's near ledge like he has some out of shield options that are pretty good like up tilt and down tilt but if you just dash attack him i usually like to do this near the ledge or as just a mix up like a straight up mix up just dash attack it works pretty well against joker and joker he has a couple moves that are like chic that are just peewee moves. I mean, they just deal so little damage that you're not even going to have that many cracks in your gut armor when you use a move to counter through his move. So th there's a couple of mix-ups that you can use to beat Joker. Just remember that you're playing a heavyweight and there's going to be times where you're just going to get comboed. So remember to use your DI properly and stick with your game plan. Okay, so now we're coming down to the summary of things, and we're just going to be going over a couple more tips on how to beat Joker. So here's the thing about Joker, is that Joker has a presence where he has some mix-ups like Aha, and he has his gun, but he is primarily a rushdown character, as I said earlier. Um, we want to remember that if we're playing against an extremely intelligent player, like I'm talking a big brain joker player, a big brain joker player will be able to switch between different types of play styles. Now one thing that I analyzed about joker and I said this when the game first came out and I also talked about it in my predicting joker spot on the tier list video, joker has a hidden play style which is bait and switch. Joker's bait and switch play style you don't see it that often 
and it really comes into the hands of a big brain joker player. Big brain joker players will use joker's dagger to his advantage. If you really think about it, it's kind of like playing against like a young link or toon link. Joker's dagger can be used to space if used properly. And this is when some matchup recognition comes into play and you know who you're playing against. If you're playing against a big brain joker player who's literally using back air to space you like a cloud or something like that, because think about it, if you're playing a character like Ganondorf in Cinemore, you know, me brawler, and you're a brawler type character, you gotta engage in that combat, you wanna stay in his face all day, every day, a good joker will use nair, he will use back air, he will use dagger moves like his forward smash, and then you're gonna be like, man, why does it feel like I'm playing against a cloud? Because good joker players can do this. So you give him the sortie treatment, which I like to call the sortie treatment only because it works against the majority of sword characters in the game, which is I usually play around my shield. Joker doesn't have a lot of moves that can break your shield. Maybe moves like down smash or something like that will break your shield but joker genuinely will not be able to break your shield in probably 95 percent of your games you play against him so you sit in shield you use out of shield options some characters it's usually their tilt attacks that are good out of shield options recognize the out of shield options you have with your character and be able to use them accordingly anyways people that's all i have for today's video don't forget to like comment share subscribe don't forget to follow me on twitter and i'm also thinking about doing some more guide videos on some characters that don't get shed a lot of light on because these characters i feel are creeping up in the meta and most people haven't really seen their full potential yet but once one person figures out how to play them everybody's gonna be like whoa this character is actually good with all that being said, my name is Phantom Phoenix and I'll see you all next time on Dark Sparks Gaming.